Okay, so we're looking at the closure of the graph, and then I know to discuss how it's defined recursively. And we talk about looking at the degrees of the non-adjacent vertices, and if the degrees are, the sum of the degrees is greater than or equal to n, we add it to our closure. So let's actually just write this in very simple terms. So the closure of a graph G with n vertices, and it's denoted by just that C and then the G, is the graph obtained by repeatedly adding edges, and that's where the recursive aspect comes in, between the non-adjacent vertices whose degrees sum up to at least n. In other words, you're going to go through your graph and you look at the non-adjacent vertices, okay? And if you have no pair of non-adjacent vertices in which the degree of that vertice C plus the degree of the other vertice C is greater than or equal to N, then your graph is the closure, or the closure graph is the graph. Let's do it like that rather. Okay, but if you can go through it and you find, you know, that there is a U of V, in other words, adjacent vertices U and V, non-adjacent vertices, and their degree add up to greater than n, then you add them. So your closure is going to be the original graph plus the edge of those two. Okay, so again, the closure of a graph is basically a recursive process or a recursive graph obtained by repeatedly adding edges between the non-adjacent vertices whose degrees sum up to at least n. And again, when you look at that, if you have no pair of non-adjacent vertices in which the degrees sum up to greater than or equal to n, then your closure is your graph at that point. If not, if you have two um, adjacent vertices, u and v, where the degrees do add up greater than or equal to n, you add that edge to your graph, and then you keep on repeating it until you reach that red. So we're just going to go through some examples of finding the closure of a graph. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to investigate the non-adjacent vertice pairs. So in this case, A and B are non-adjacent, A and C are non-adjacent, A and E are non-adjacent. What else do we have? So we've looked here, we've looked here, and we've looked here. Again, A is adjacent to D. So let's go look at B. So B is B and A, and we have D and B is already there, B and E is already there, B and C are not adjacent. So let's add that one. In things that we need to investigate, we're not actually adding it to the graph yet. Then we look at C, okay, and C is connected to A there. We've already covered that one. C and B, we've already covered that one. And then CD and CE is done. Then we need to investigate D, and the only one that's non-adjacent is DE. So those are the non-adjacent pairs we need to investigate. So let's just remove that from our graph. And now what we're going to do is, the first thing we're going to remember, for it to be a, closed, a closure of a graph, our closure of the graph is if we have U and V and DU plus DV, is greater than or equal to n, then we add it. So then our closure of a graph becomes the graph plus uv. And we stop when we, you know, we run out of non-adjacent vertices which fit this condition. So in our case, our order here is 5. So when we look at this, we look at du plus dv. If it's greater than or equal to 5, we add it to our closure. If it's not, we don't care about it. So let's now go ahead and go through all the different ones. So we're going to do 
AB first. The degree of A plus the degree of B. So the degree of A is 1. The degree of B is 2. That is not greater than or equal to 5. So we don't add that one. We then go to AC. The degree of A plus the degree of C gives us 1 plus 2. That is not greater than or equal to 5. So we don't add that one. Okay, then we go investigate AE, the degree of A plus the degree of E. We look at that and we say, okay, that is 1 plus 2, which is not greater than or equal to 5. So we don't add that one so far. Then we go through, we have BC, the degree of B plus the degree of C. The degree of B is 2, the degree of C is 2, that is not greater than or equal to 5, so we don't add that one so far. Okay, then we go ahead with the degree of D plus the degree of E, and here we have 3 plus 2 greater than or equal to 5, that is actually the case, so we're going to add that to our graph. So our closure of graph adds this vertice to the rest. Now, obviously, that is going to change our degree of D and our degree of E. So we should actually consider going and looking at all the cases where D and E show up. So we should reconsider this one because there E shows up. So if you go ahead and reconsider AD, we have the degree of A plus the degree of E. And that's 1 plus 3 which is not greater than or equal to 5, so that doesn't get added again. And then if you look at anything else, D wasn't because D is, was adjacent to everything except E, so we have that you know, kind of sorted. Is there anywhere else where E was not connected? No. So you would actually have to run through it again. So the moment you've added in you know, that edge, you would have to consider that the degrees of the one that you've added in have changed, and you'll have to relook to investigate whether or not you need to add in the um, edge or something that you have previously looked at before once you've added in that edge because the degrees change. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Okay, so we're going to look at another example, and here we just have a very simple graph happening here. So we're going to first write down which are the ones that are non-adjacent. So here we have A is adjacent to everything, but B is not adjacent to C, and B is not adjacent to D. Okay, and once we do that, we kind of have a complete graph situation occurring. So we only need to look at investigate those two. So we start off with the degree of B, which is equal to one plus the degree of D. So we have 1 plus 2, and that is not greater than or equal to 4. Why do we have the 4? Because we look at the number of or our order of our graph. Our order of our graph here is 4. And when we add up the degrees of the non-adjacent vertices pairs, if they're greater than the order, greater than or equal to all than the order, then we add that in. So here at the moment, we don't add in B and D. Okay, so let's look at B and C. The degree of B plus the degree of C. And we have the degree of B is 1 plus the degree of C is 2. And again, that's not greater than or equal to 4. So in this case, our closure of our graph is literally just the original graph. Okay, let's look at another example. So here we have A, B, C, D, E, and let's look at what is A not adjacent to? A is not adjacent to D. Okay, it's adjacent to B, it's adjacent to C, it's adjacent to E, it's not adjacent to D. Let's look at B, what is B not adjacent to? B is not adjacent to C. B is also not adjacent to E. OK, 
okay, let's look at what C is not adjacent to. C is not adjacent to B. We've already covered that. C is not adjacent to E. Okay, then we look at D. D is not adjacent to A. It's adjacent to the rest. We've already covered that it's not adjacent to A. So we leave that. Then we look at E. And we say E is not adjacent to C, which has already been covered, and E is not adjacent to B, which has already been covered. So we have the non-adjacent vertices pairs we need to investigate. Okay, then we go ahead, and again, the order of this graph is 5, so when we look at this, we have to look for anything that is greater than or equal to 5. So let's start off with the degree of A plus the degree of D. The degree of A is 3, the degree of B is 3, that is greater than or equal to 5, so we add AD to our graph. So we add that. Okay, next up we look at, so this one is covered, and we've done it. Now we look at the degree of B plus the degree of C. And if we go look at that, the degree of B is 2 plus the degree of C is 2. That is not greater than or equal to 5, so we leave that alone at the moment, and we go on to the degree of B plus the degree of E, and if we look at that, the degree of B is 2 plus the degree of E, which is also 2, it's not greater than or equal to 5, so we leave it alone, then we investigate the degree of C plus the degree of E, and we have degree of C is 2, plus the degree of E is 2, which is not greater than or equal to 5, so we leave that one alone. So the closure of our graph here, and we can go through and just double check everything, when we look at everything like that, our closure of graph is just this graph, now given to us with that purple edge. Okay, so what we notice about all those examples is our closure of the graph is at minimum equal to the original graph. Otherwise, our closure of the graph is actually more connected than the original graph because you add more edges to it. You know, those edges where the degree of u plus the degree of v is greater than or equal to n. So it gives us a nice little theorem that we can look at, or a useful theorem that we can look at, where we say, let g be a simple graph with order n greater than or equal to. Let g be a graph with the order greater than or equal to 3, then G is Hamiltonian if and only if its closure of G is Hamiltonian. And that makes sense because you're looking at a more connected graph, so if the more connected graph is not Hamiltonian, then the less connected graph can't be Hamiltonian because the whole idea is with the Hamiltonian is you have a spanning cycle. And obviously you have more opportunities for cycles the more connected your graph is. So one thing to note, it's the if and only if, if and only if, and that makes the closure of, of the graph being Hamiltonian a necessary condition.